Why hello there, this is Garrett with CCS and today I'm going to show you project managers and project team members how to set up your Team Dynamics desktop. Basically, your Team Dynamics desktop offers a high-level overview and easy access to projects, tasks, and reports, among other things within Team Dynamics. You can manage multiple desktops at the same time, and each one is completely and totally customizable, which leads to an all-in-one place for issues, current, and overdue tasks across all projects. So, we need to set this thing up, so how do we do it? Well, let me show you. First thing you want to do is pop open a browser, and you're going to want to go to uoguelph.teamdynamics.com, which will load up this beautiful page right here. And once you're here, there's a big users button that you're going to want to select on. Now, Team Dynamics does use the SSO single sign-on service, so you do log in with your central login ID and password, which I will do right here. Now, if you are logging in and you already logged in earlier in the day and you still have that browser open, you may, may be redirected automatically to this page, which is loading up right now in front of me. Now, your page isn't going to look as cool as my page because i got a whole lot of things set up, so we're going to go all the way back to the beginning and set up this desktop. So, you're going to see a button right here that says new desktop and you're going to want to click it. Now please bear with me for a second as I manage this window and make it look a little nicer on the screen. That's much better. Now this new desktop needs a name and Garrett is my name so I'm going to put my name and you can see I've done this before. I have an awesome desktop and I have a desktop. So this one we're going to call Garrett's really awesome desktop. How amazing is that? And then once you have your title put in you just got to hit the save button up here which is nice and green. You can't miss it. So this new page is going to open up and you're going to have to set up your columns for your really awesome desktop that you're setting up. Over here on the left hand side you'll see a tab that says available content and a whole bunch of uh, submenus here. These are actually called widgets and widgets you will learn about more in a different video. Uh, but for the sake of this video we need to drag and drop some widgets into your columns. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to find the projects tab which is right here. And these are all the individual widgets that you can see and I'm going to have to scroll all the way down until I can find one that says projects and then general projects which is boom right here. Once I found it you can't double click it unfortunately but you can drag it and drop it on whichever column you want and we're gonna put this one in column number one and you know what that's everything for column one easy enough column two though there's gonna be some more stuff we put in so the first thing I'm gonna want to find is project issues so project issues right here and I'm gonna take it drag it and drop it all the way over on the right hand side the next one I'm gonna to want to find is projects tasks and my tasks good thing these are in alphabetical order because it makes it so much easier to find here it is right here and drag and drop it into column number two and the last one that you're gonna to want to find is project issues my issues which is all the way back here project issues my issues and drag and drop it into column number two so I got this really awesome desktop set up. I've got these really awesome widgets that are dragged into column number one and column number two, but what do these widgets do? Well, let me tell you. In column number one, we have the Projects General Projects widget, and what this does, it gives a high-level overview of all projects where you are the project manager, or alternative project manager, or a member of the project team. Additionally, in column number two, we got three different widgets in here, and all three of them do this. For Project Issues Issues, it will show all issues in in all projects for which you are the project manager or a team member. And just to remind you that issues can be associated with the entire project as a whole or just with a specific task within a project. For project tasks, my tasks, it will show all current or overdue tasks assigned to you in the projects for which you are a project manager or a team mem member. A current task is one that is not yet complete and today's date is within the task start end date. An overdue task is one that is not yet complete and today's date is past the task's end date. Basically, you're overdue and in trouble. And the last one, Project Issues, My Issues. This will show all issues assigned to you in the project for which you are the project manager, alternative project manager, or the team member. So, I got all these awesome widgets set up in column one and column two, and next thing I'm going to do is this big old green save button over here and click save. And you get this little red text that says changes are saved. Now, next thing I need to do is go over to the details tab over here, and I can actually set this desktop as my default. So every time I log into Team Dynamics, Garrett's really awesome desktop will load up. So let's just set this as a default, and that button is gone, and I'll hit save to save those changes. I've got this old desktop, which is Garrett's awesome desktop, but not my really awesome desktop. I'm just going to refresh my browser, let Team Dynamics work its magic, and there you go. You can see over here that Garrett's really awesome desktop has now been activated. 
Thank you for so much for taking some time watching this video, and stay tuned for more videos about the wonderful things that you can do in Team Dynamics.